Prayers Ground presents Family Summer Super Gospel Fest on Sunday, June the 12th, 5 p.m. the Carson Community Center with special guests Lee Williams and the Spiritual QCs from Tupelo, Mississippi. Added guests Elaine Gibbs, the Church Boys, Sweet Singing Cavaliers, my son, Prayers too. Call Miss Betty Evans at 323-602-4107. 323-602-4107. Tickets available at Windsor Hill Christian Bookstore, Slauson and Overhill, or Miss Donna Board. Call her at 310-256-8155. 310-256-8155. Just showing off El Segundo and Avalon. The MCs, Miss Nikki Blackman and Reverend Gil Theers from KPFK. Family Summer Super Gospel Fest featuring Lee Williams and the Spiritual QCs. It's another Prayers Graham presentation. And blessings to you from the station that cares. Here's the number one artist in the world. Here's Lee Williams and the Spiritual QCs. We jump into this thing here. You can't run. You can't hide. You're watching and listening to Prayers Ground Worldwide. Like a policeman traveling through this land, he's serving a death notice to every woman and man. You're gonna need a lawyer. If I were you, that's the next thing I would do. Just ensure you are sitting here tonight. One day he's got a one for you, but you know what? Can't run, can't hide. No need, no need, need to try. the case. If I were you, I'd get lawyer Jesus. I wouldn't wait, I'd make haste. This is something you can't get around, no matter what you do. Just as sure as you can hear my voice tonight, one day he's got a word for you. But you know mother's breath he'll take the rich man and everybody else take mothers daughters father and son sometime he won't stop till he got that last one but you can't run you can't hide no need no need to try You can't hide. Well, my mind, my mind go back to a story in the Bible day. One day, God called a man by the name of Jonah. Said, now, Jonah, I want you to go down in a place called Nineveh and tell my people if they don't repent. Destroy that city, but you know that story. Jonah didn't want to go, so Jonah decided that he was going down to a place called Joppa. Then he went on down to the shipyard, he went on down to the ticket office and got him a ticket. And he was on his way to a place called Taj. Then he went on. Fast asleep, 
with what he didn't know when he laid down. God was looking right at him. God was looking at him. But God didn't bother him. All God did was he called a wind and he told a wind, I want you to blow. And he told the thunder, I want you to roll. And he told a lightning, I want you to flash. And he told the tide, stand up real high. Cause I've got a child that's trying to run and think he can hide. And about that time, the captain came around and he told the crew member, pull all the anchor. We gotta get ready and set for sale. And then they tell me, starting to start the road. Start to flag, tide stood up high, and the wind began to blow. Captain got confused, told all his crew members, out of all the time we made this journey, we ain't never, ain't never had trouble before. And then he told all the crew members, come on the top. said, wait a minute, Captain, that one more man, and he's downstairs, he's over in the corner, and he's fast asleep, Captain said, let me go down, I'll see about him, Captain walked over, and shook old man Jonah, and Jonah stood up, and the Captain asked him, how can you sleep, and we in a storm, said call him and Jonah told him I ain't gotta call him I ain't gotta call him he already know you already know that I'm trying to run and I'm trying to hide he said well now captain if you want peace on your ship you gotta take me on top and throw me overboard so they took Jonah up and threw him overboard. And the Bible tell me God had a fish prepared for him and swallowed him down in the bottom of his belly. Took him around and took him down in the bottom of the sea. But I'm so glad tonight. I'm so glad tonight. I'm so glad tonight. It don't matter. The number one artist in the world, Lee Williams and the Spiritual QCs, getting ready for us June the 12th. It's going to be nice. Carson Community Center, Verna for YOU. It's the tune to make you want to croon. Mystery just got you in mind. Here's some great sunshine right here from a group of talented young ladies we've had pleasure with over the years. Let's get into it like this on Transgram Worldwide.
For all of my young folks, yeah, Sherry for YOU, Wendy, Mary, and JC. Here's Reverend Patrick Hollis with Lee Williams and the Spiritual QCs. He jumps into this thing, Change My Life. Brands grab worldwide.
Super nice. Reverend Patrick Hollis with Lee Williams and the Spiritual QCs. Yeah, my life has changed right here. Prayers Graham, since I found him back in the 60s. Yeah, because of Galgotha's Hill, the place of the skull, the educated folks called Calvary. It's been a blessing in my life. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. And for all of you watching us around the world, blessings to you from Prayers Graham Worldwide here in Los Angeles on a windy, blustery day outside. I mean, things are blowing like crazy. Wind was blowing so hard it almost picked the roadster up. And that's unbelievable, unheard of. But how be ever, it's God's business. I'd rather be here on top of the ground to experience it, what it's all about, than to be under the ground and not knowing what's going on at all. A vacancy has happened in the Roscoe's family and here at RMC. And I want to say to my engineer, Kevin, who has had a vacancy in his life with his family and, of course, for his dad that has passed on. And, Kevin, I want to say to you, between Genesis and Revelation, there is a word that says, For me to live is Christ, to die is gain. And if you hold on to God's unchanging hand, just know that David left on record in the 23rd and the 27th numbers of the Psalms. It starts off the same way. The Lord is. And if you believe the Lord is, the Lord will take you through what you're going through. Been there, sat in the same seat that you're sitting in right now, Kevin. But just know one thing. You got to hurt before you heal. Here's Castro Coleman, Kevin, for you and your family as you go through. Hello. May I have this time to speak a word from my heart to your mind About the problems that you're going through Different situations and you just don't know what to do And your heart's been broken over and over Now you feel like you don't want to In order to make it, this is what you've got to do Have to hurt before you heal. Said I'm telling the truth right now. I wanna talk about me. I've been lying on. I've been talked about. Overlooked, even mistreated. When names been scandalized up and down the road. Even a brother like me been left in the cold. I've got scars in my life deeper than the eyes could see. I've even been mistreated by people that was close to me. Found myself in a state of depression. And I met an old man that taught me a lesson. He said, hold your head up. I know the pain is real. The only way you're going to get better, you don't have to hurt before you heal. Yeah. My sisters, be encouraged, my brothers. Let's just come together, stop fighting one another. I know that it hurts to apologize and forgive, but if you hurt about something, that's the way that you can be healed. I challenge you to go through and live if you want to be better. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm talking to that wife that's got that husband that's doing you wrong. Or to that husband that got that wife that done left, she won't come back home. Said I'm talking to the ones that's been mentally abused and torn down in life. Please don't hold me grudges, even though what was done to you wasn't right. Cause if you do, you might be blocking progress For the next person that wanna do right by your life It's okay to cry Go ahead on and shed your tears uh, mm. After it's all said and done If you wanna get better Hurt 
5 p.m. at the Carson Community Center, 801 East Carson, featuring Lee Williams and the spiritual QCs of Tupelo, Mississippi. You'll want to be there. You'll want to be there. And a guest will be Lane Gibbs, Church Boys, Sweet Singing Cavaliers, and my son, Prez, too. Call Miss Betty Edwards at 323-602-4107. 323-602-4107. The MCs will be my daughter, Miss Nikki Blackman, and Reverend Gil Thiers from KPFK. Tickets available also at Windsor Hill Christian Bookstore, Overhill in Slauson, Dimension Hair and Barbershop, Ontario, and Miss Donna Board over at Just Show off El Segundo in Avalon, 310-256-8155, 310-256-8155. Whatever you do, join us on Sunday, June the 12th with Lee Williams and the Spiritual QCs from Tupelo, Mississippi. It's a prayers ground presentation. Super nice music on the station, giving you the best. Yeah, prayers ground worldwide is right here on this great station, and I want you to know it's all a blessing here at this great station here on Pico Boulevard, and I'm just grateful, elated for all of you that's watching us around the world. Jackson, Mississippi, got much love for you. Atlanta, GA, got much love for you to make sure that things are just right here at RMC. And in behalf of all of us here, we want you to know, for my good friend, Mr. Hayward Edwards, I want to say to you, earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. Right here from Prez Graham, and I am standing there with you, my brother, in behalf of Pleasant Freeman and all of us. And for Kevin, our blessings are to you, for Mr. Hudson, for Kino, and from all of us, the Roscoe's family. Here's a prayer. May this prayer bless and inspire you on this day.
But sometimes I don't feel like telling God this wrong Lord, that wrong Lord, that wrong Lord, that wrong Lord. He said, just make it all in one. And just look up for me and tell me, Lord. On the station that gives you great music right here at Prayers Graham Worldwide. I'm Prayers Blackman. Blessings to you, you, and especially you for all of my friends in Chicago, Illinois, Memphis, Tennessee, Columbia, Little Rock, Arkansas, uh, Syracuse, New York. Blessings to you on this wonderful afternoon here on Prayers Graham. Got some exciting guests coming up after this next hit. It's going to bless your soul. And as we get ready for Atlanta, Georgia, it's going to be super nice. These fellas here on their way to the city in Pomona, California. I'll be their MC on May the 3rd at the New Hope Mission. Baptist Church. Super nice. Here's Sandy Foster and the Mississippi Blind Boys right here on Prayers Graham Worldwide. Well, you're much better with me on than off. Tell all your friends with the missing that they're not listening right here to our MC. Things are getting a little tough, but I'm going to keep on praying. No, I won't give up. I'm going to wait on Jesus. Wait on Jesus. Wait on Jesus. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. I got my sword, and y'all, I got my shield. I'm gonna keep on marching, stay on the battlefield, and wait on Jesus. Wait on Jesus. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. One thing about God, Him you cannot hurry. But I done renewed my faith. No, I ain't gonna wear him. Gonna wait on Jesus. Wait on Jesus. Wait on Jesus. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Life brought me through some changes, all types of turnarounds. But what I like about 
the Lord, he never let me down. He may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. Ever since I was a young boy, he's been a friend of mine. Wait on him. I'm gonna wait on the Lord. I'm down here waiting on Jesus. Yes, I am. I'm gonna wait on the Lord. Every day of my life, I'm gonna wait. I'm waiting on the Lord. I'm waiting on Jesus. I'm waiting on the Lord. He might not come when you want him, but he's always on time. I'm waiting. Jesus, I'm waiting on the Lord. Show the way it on Jesus. I'm waiting on the Lord. I made up my mind. I'm gonna wait on the Lord. My mother is waiting. She's waiting on the Lord. He filled me with the Holy Ghost. That's why I'm waiting on the Lord. I'm waiting on Jesus. I'm waiting on the Lord. When I was sick, the Lord healed my body. I'm waiting on Jesus. I got to wait on the Lord. I'm waiting on Jesus. I'm waiting on the Lord. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to stay right here and wait. And he might not come when I want him, but he's always on time. I'm waiting on the Lord. Is anybody waiting on Jesus? Is anybody waiting on the Lord? You got to wait on Jesus. I'm waiting on the Lord. I'm waiting on Jesus. I'm waiting on the Lord. I'm waiting on Jesus. I'm waiting on the Lord. He's a lawyer in the courtroom. Super Nights, May the 3rd, 7 p.m., the Pomona, California. It's going to be nice. Yeah, New Hope Missionary Baptist Church. Dr. Curtis L. Hughes is a very fine pastor. Sandy Foster, backed by popular demand and the world-famous Blind Boys, yeah, 1567 uh, Reservoir in Pomona, California. It's going to be a blessing. I have. It must be a ladies' month, Kevin. We had some exciting ladies on last week, and we've got two powerful ladies here today. Super nice. I'm just ecstatic uh, knowing that I have this much power in the city of Los Angeles. Miss Dale Richardson and Miss Candida Mobley Phillips, uh, former air personality over at the eighth one of the world, Stephen Judkins Morris, station known as 102.3 KJLH. And, of course, to have such royalty here, ladies, welcome to Prayers Graham Radio and Prayers Graham Gospel Time here at RMC. Thank you. Thank you. Really? Kevin, I, I, I need more mic down on, on Miss Dale Richardson, especially both of them, because I need to hear all of this. It's going to happen on today. Huh? How does that sound? Sounds great. Sounds and great. listen, now, we're going to be talking about veterans, homeless and housing veterans, and that is a very crucial point uh, in our life, in society today. And I don't know who wants to start off, but Miss uh, Dale Richardson. Uh, well, let me start with the pastor's wife, because the oh. pastor's wife, you understand, you always got to give homage and uh, respect to the preacher's wife. You know, that, I think there was a movie about that, wasn't it? Yes, there the was. preacher's wife. Uh, yes, the preacher's wife know what's going on. But I understand she's a great cook and she didn't think about us today. Is oh, that correct? Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mrs. Phillips, welcome to Prayers, Graham. And uh, please convey hello to the husband as well also. Thank you. And I'm going to give you the honor of really introducing Miss Dale Richardson since you are Syracuse. Huh? Uh, uh, my okay. daughter graduated uh, from Syracuse. And I didn't know that I would be on a video as well as Mike. <laughs> I did not know that. Really? <laughs> no, I didn't know. But that's okay. Are oh, you kidding? I did no, but that's okay. I'm proud to display my uh, Syracusean background <laughs> through my daughter. And it's lovely. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I'm orange woman all the way. My Please tell us, <laughs> tell us about uh, you. You're the first lady of where? A Gospel Truth Church, 8401 South Normandy Avenue, which we have now um, uh, transitioned into the Truth 
treatment center okay. and we are now housing uh, um, early par- uh, pay- par- parolees excuse me and uh, helping them with their drug and alcohol addictions it is a sober living uh, facility now so mm. I'm very excited uh, in terms of the work that we're doing for the community but I'm um, equally excited that my dear friend Dale got me out of retirement. I said, girl, I am retired. <laughs> I'm a preacher's wife. Call to I'm action. A, a mother, a grandmother, <laughs> and, and a daughter, and I'm doing it all. But she said, I need your help. And I said, I'm here to help you because I love you. Oh. And the cause is, is incredible. So um, my dear friend Dell Richardson, who is also known as Mrs. Price, Mrs. Current Price, she is the wife of the new ninth uh, councilman, uh, Current Price, <laughs> and she has taken on an, an incredible project to house veterans, and mm. as you well know, that is a critical issue across sure is. the country, but even more so in the city of Los Angeles. I think that with the sunshine and the good weather, we tend to have a, a higher homeless population in general than anywhere else in the country. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to let uh, my dear friend talk a little bit more about the program and our needs. Thank you, Candida. What an honor it is to be here to share our initiative and campaign to help house a vet. In fact, it's called helphousevet.com. My company, Dell Richardson and Associates, fondly referred to, commonly known as DRA, has a contract with the Veterans Administration to assist 721 veterans to find permanent housing with the use of BASH vouchers, very Mm. similar to the Section 8 program. So our thought is no veteran should be homeless. That's so true. Especially when there's money to house them. Mm. Uh, they fought for us. Now it's time for us to fight for them. So our initiative is simply to find landlords that are willing to rent their units to veterans and receive a subsidy from HUD in the form of a VASH voucher, a Veterans Affairs Supportive Housing voucher, very similar to the Section 8, only much better and improved. And it's coupled with case management services and the services that DRA provides to the VA, mm-hmm. which is a concierge service to landlords. Mm. We help match the appropriate veteran with the appropriate landlord to create the right housing community uh, that's sustainable and it's beneficial to both landlord tenants community. So we have about five housing locators that work with us to interview veterans, to understand their needs, and to find landlords to match them with and place them into housing that's subsidized through HUD. And so we have a call to action for all our landlords, especially in the body of Christ, our Christian community. Any landlords out there that want to help a veteran Many of them come back from uh, their tours of duty with some social, psychological, and financial issues. Mm -hmm. And some leave their mother's house at 18, go into the military, come out after 20 years and not sure how to work, and they call it the world, outside of the life of the military, Mm -hmm. and they struggle. Others have been to war and have PSTD issues, but through this program and case management and a loving and supportive community, they're transitioning well into permanent housing. And so we're just asking our veterans to please help us help house a vet. Now, in this great effort, which I'm grateful to hear about uh, 40 plus years later than when I came out, how will they find you? Is there a number, is there a website, or both? Both. The website is Mm helphouseavet.com. The telephone number is 310-645-3729, extension 225. 310-645-3729, extension 225. We... You can go to our website, and there is a button for landlord registration and list any available rental units you have that you'd be interested in us uh, finding you a vet suitable for that rental community. And we will match a vet with your request and assist you in completing the paperwork necessary to get the rental subsidies from HUD through the VAST voucher program and just kind of be there for you as, like, the landlord's advocate. 
Okay. Um, and it's free of charge to all property owners. Mm. What? I'm sorry. Go ahead, Ms. Phillips. And, and Pres, one of the things I wanted to make sure that was emphasized here is that um, the specific need is for singles and one bedroom and units. One bedroom units. Every human being deserves to have their privacy mm -hmm. in their living environment, and the vets deserve that as well. Okay. So they're looking for a unit that they can call their own. Originally, we were looking to share, you know, housing, you know, homes and all of that. But at the end of the day, everyone wants to have their own. So we're looking <laughs> for landlords who have those singles, those one bedrooms that are available. Many people say, well, we can't find someone to occupy our space that you know we can trust and depend on getting that rent every month well this is an environment in which you know you're going to get your rent every month guaranteed mm. you don't have to worry about that and you also don't want to have to worry about your relationship with that veteran if you have a, any situation whatsoever with that veteran there is the lovely del oh, richardson to me. come in there <laughs> with that really? concierge she calls it a concierge service okay so just as you go to the hotel and you're trying to find the perfect restaurant and the perfect theater ticket <laughs> for them to hook up for you you call the concierge well Dell is right. the concierge of the city, the county of Los Angeles, and she makes sure that the landlords get the service that they deserve from the Veterans Administration through HelpHouseOfVet.com. Isn't that beautiful? That's amazing. Incredible. In your, yes, please. We uh. have landlord outreach events often. Our next one is probably going to be on May third in conjunction with the city of los angeles mayor garcetti's office okay uh it's a free luncheon to landlords come out hear what we have to offer you speak with uh executives from both the city and county housing authority get a great plate at lunch <laughs> and mm. meet some of our wonderful wonderful veterans in need of housing wow if you're interested register with our website help houseavet.com or call our office at 310-645-3729 and get on our list for our May Landlord Outreach event that will be fully hosted and you'll be well fed and received. So that means you're going to probably come back here uh, April the 29th, which is a Friday, and that is the Friday before the event. And I'm going to extend this invite on a personal basis to you because I had a friend, um, he's passed now, uh, that came out of the war in uh, the vast program, which I'd never heard of, mm. was very kind to him, you understand? And they put him in this real nice apartment. Mm. I was just blown out. I said, well, listen, I need to go and apply. Who can apply uh, for this vast program? Well, any eligible veteran that served in the U.S. military it's the first criteria. Second would be income-based and need-based. Okay. And HUD has the criteria based on income per household size. Mm. Okay. But homeless vets are definitely eligible. And if you don't have all of your paperwork to determine your status as a, a qualified veteran, they will help you. You can come to the VA campus, West LA, mm -hmm. on the north side of the street, opposite the hospital, Walk into the Welcome Center, building 257, 8 to 5, any day of the week, Monday through Friday. Mm. Ladies, give you help. let me just come back. I want to play a song here for my class tonight because we're having our doctoral banquet tonight uh, from Bible Believers Christian College and Seminary, which I will be receiving my doctoral degree on June the 11th, but my class is watching and I want to do this for them and I'm going to come back because we want to talk more in depth about uh, finding homeless vets because there are a lot downtown and and uh, I want to get into the deal because most November's Thanksgiving, I take food down early in the morning and I sit and they have no idea who I am because it's not about me. It's about what I went through when I came back from the war. But when we come back, we got much more to talk to the lovely and talented uh, Miss Dale Richardson and, of course, the First Lady. Yeah, Miss Candida Mobley Phillips. When we come back on Prayers Grab Worldwide, here's a sure fire tune to make you want to crew and be it morning, night, or noon. It's the mighty Denise LaSalle. She jumps into this thing she calls a mighty love right here on Prayers Grab Worldwide. Once I was lost in sin, I had no place to 
Super Nights Music, the mighty Denise LaSalle, and of course, our guest today. Speaking about veterans today and um, housing veterans, uh, in case you're just tuning in, I'm Perez Blackman, Perez Graham Worldwide, you know that. We have the lovely and talented Miss Dale Richardson, and of course, Miss Candida Mobley Phillips. Yeah. You know, this is nothing new for you, radio, right? <laughs> I've been, been around that block for a minute. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Now, Miss Dale Richardson, whatever made you want to get into this in, in helping homeless veterans? Because there are so many, and uh, we were sharing off of the air. I go downtown, and uh, you know I network with a lot of veterans. Our concerts, a uh, portion of our proceeds, we go to help veterans. Because I remember when I came back, and we were accused of being baby killers, but they weren't there. You have no idea what we went through. You have no idea what it is to be without food for 30 days and you got to eat green grass and you got to take the moth off the water and use halazone tablets to purify the water after an hour and a half and then you got to drink it. You have no idea what it's like to honestly see a 12 or 11 year old with AK-47, you know, pointing at your head and, and, and they're willing to take you out. You know, it's much easier to be said then that, well, why would you want to kill a kid? But when a kid has been trained, to take you out it's a whole different ball game you understand Mm -hmm. and then a lot of us and a lot of the brothers came back because we were lied to that there was no agent orange Mm. but you had to still doubt chemical was there in southeast asia you understand 
And it was so excruciating to watch my brothers. A lot of them wanted to commit suicide right then and there. What they went through, uh, a great metamorphosis had to occur. And in a program like this, I believe you had a lot of our brothers had programs like what you have right now. America would be better as far as veterans are concerned mm -hmm. because a lot of this was lost. And then to come back to a world where we don't give the rats. You know, you can pin all the medals. You know, my Purple Heart, it means nothing on a suit. But inside the military, it means a hell of a lot. Mm -hmm. You understand? People today, they have no idea. Now, there are a few restaurants out there doing Veterans Day. You know, they honor us for our contributions. But at the same token, I can give you hundreds of veterans that I know that committed suicide. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. By coming back to the United States. And well, we got plenty here. And as you foresaid early in the program, we gave so much, so much. but so less is returned, you understand, mm -hmm. to us. So again, what ever inspired you and motivated you to want to do this? Well, many things. One, I was a military brat, oh, okay. as is the term for children whose parents are in the military. Mm -hmm. My first husband was in the military. I went to a military boarding school. Mm. I have many family and friends in the military. So natural attraction there. Second, I'm a businesswoman, and I only do business where I can do good purpose in that business. Okay. And this was a wonderful opportunity to share my passion in helping vets find housing. And second, when you look at the number of veterans speaking to your issue of um, that commit suicide, mm. there are 20, there's an estimate of 22 veterans a month in the city of Los Angeles alone that commit suicide even today. Wow. But yes. I have uh, five godsons in the military who I did everything but birth and are very near and dear to me. I had my oldest goddaughter taken off to war with her best friend while that friend was nursing her baby, her seven-week-old baby, no uh, and I had to keep her children while she was in Iraq. Mm. Uh, it's, it's very personal to me, and okay. the mere fact of being homeless without housing, right. and, and, and you know, when you serve your country and you're torn away from your family, especially women in the military, is even harder, uh, and to come back, you don't have a place to live in the very America that you protect, mm. democracy and freedom. Talk, talk. It just didn't make sense <laughs> to me that any vet should be homeless, especially when there's money to house them. And additionally, we can thank the Obama administration for making it a priority. Our okay. president, Obama, and his wife, Michelle Obama, mm. our first lady, made this a priority. Wow. And I'm so honored to share in their endeavors and find housing for our veterans here in Los Angeles County. Are you reaching out to the churches and to the pastors? Uh... Well, I have the first lady here. That's her job. She's doing right. a good job at it. We have a, a, a couple of upcoming events in some of okay. the churches here in Los Angeles. Okay. Um, I think on Monday we have one. Um, and uh, uh, on the 20. Fifth, right, Monday the 25th, we're speaking to the Baptist Ministers, the Baptist Ministers oh, Conference. So, okay. Yes, yes. And then we're reaching out to the apartment associations as well. Okay. We have an event on the 28th, 8th at the uh, uh, April 28th at, for the Apartment Association of Los Angeles. So, And we'll have many more in the month of May. So we're going to have, Dell's going to really be working hard during the month of May because we're going to have her on back-to-back -back, oh, a tour uh, where she'll be speaking at different events to get the word out. Um, we're also looking to do something kind of fun, uh, as Del puts it. We're looking to do, uh, what do you call it, date? Uh, it's almost like, you know, speed dating. Speed dating. <laughs> but with landlords. What's speed dating. What's speed dating? <laughs> well, help house a vet. Okay. So let's match a vet with a landlord. We're okay. also asking for a call to action to have people if you see a sign for rent take a picture of it with your smartphone and text it to us or you know tweet it to us we would appreciate or just pick up the phone and call us for some of us is not as uh, inept with our smartphones when the, when the what if you don't have a smartphone and you have a flip phone well that's why i said dial <laughs> <laughs> old school still works we appreciate any method of communication but the more people looking and helping us find units and telling a friend and telling a friend word of mouth is still one of the best ways to, mm -hmm. to make things happen. And, and people with passion and concern who appreciate the freedom that we have here in the United States and recognize why we have that freedom when the very people who serve us 
put their lives aside to defend America. I think we owe them a little something. This is so true. Please help house a vet. Can we get a ride? All the veterans in one of those city cars. Uh, can we? <laughs> <laughs> we can do whatever the people want. <laughs> help house a vet. You understand? Uh, one of those city black cars and carrying on and says, "This is compliments of Miss Dale Richardson." You understand? <laughs> We just make our own little better. <laughs> we are Dale boys, okay? Oh, I love it. <laughs> so listen, now as we continue to search for apartment owners, landlords, um, now what about if you are, say for instance you have a house and you have rooms for rent, would that count? There are, HUD is allowed last year a shared housing mm-hmm. program where you could have a house and you can get more than one veteran to share it under the VASH voucher program. However, we found over the last year that veterans, they don't really like to share too much. Okay. They want their own privacy, their own space, their own door. But there is a program that allows it. Haven't found the right situation. If I got a bunch of landlords together, I try and get a bunch of uh, veterans together to see if we can make a match and if they're interested. Mm, okay. And that, that's kind of the speed dating concept that that's we're talking it. about where, you know, you may have one veteran that wants to live in Pasadena and another one that wants to live in uh, Compton. Right. And so if you have uh, landlords that are there from Glendale, that's not a match. But if you mm. have Glendale, Compton, Carson, different air, the valley, and then you have a bunch of veterans and then it's like, okay, I'm in the valley. Hey, no, not me. I want the valley. Well, what about Glendale? Mm. I don't want, you know, so it's almost like that's the concept of speed dating. Well, you have the vets right there on hand and you have the landlords right there on hand and you just matchmaking. <laughs> keep it moving. Keep it moving and get those veterans housed. Speaking of veterans, speaking of um, those of us that have really, <clears throat> excuse me, had a real rough time getting situated in life. You had mentioned prior about finance as far as uh, what would a veteran that's homeless, what would be his income bracket in order to qualify for the VASH program? I didn't bring that income uh, with me, the specific, but if you are a single person, mm. I think the <clears throat> income is somewhere around 25000 a year, twenty four, twenty five. Don't quote me, but in that range. You're going to come back and you're going to bring that information. <laughs> but I can because, tell you where you can find it. Mm-hmm. You can go to HUD forward slash Section 8 Income Limits and find the program limits for Los Angeles County and Los Angeles City. But, but if I'll you're be not, more than happy to bring it to if you. You're as not, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you're come not to our luncheon and our outreach <laughs> events, and we will give you a packet of information, uh, and we will have the actual Section Eight workers there to give it to you firsthand. And I'd like to also tell you about a special program that we're involved in in helping house our veterans through the County of Los Angeles called the VIP program. Okay. Where if you're a landlord and you have a unit, I can pay you to hold that unit vacant for one month until we find you a vet really? that matches the criteria for your rental community. Now, what's the phone number for that to, uh, in order to... Call us at 310-645-3729 and ask for Sylvia Valdivia, and she can take care of you. Once again, that number? 310-645-3729. Press zero and ask for Sylvia Valdivia. This applies to male and female. Uh, landlords, uh, what have you, right? Correct. Okay. Now, say, for instance, you have a veteran, a male, veteran female, they decide to become one. How do you handle that? It's okay. That's a family member. Okay. And there is a formula for computing the benefit for a two-person household with a qualifying vet. Mm. All right. Say, for instance, we go downtown and we find uh, a veteran, male and female. They both have uh, on the VASH program. Okay. They've come up. And at the same token, and then they decide to get together. Then what happens to the apartment? Only one. They would merge their their voucher. And there would be one voucher with both names on it. Mm. And then the other apartment is available to another veteran. Yes. Right. 
Our guest today on Prayers Graham Worldwide, interesting, uh, helping homeless veterans, uh, the lovely and talented uh, Ms. Dale Richardson, and of course, uh, former personality, now First Lady, preacher's wife, uh, Mrs. Candida Mobley Phillips, is here. You understand? These two lovely ladies bringing us information that we can all use uh, in life. As we come uh, toward the end of this interview, I'm concerned about uh, are spreading the word more uh, about this program because it's a program that is overly, overly needed, yes. way late. And at the same token, uh, uh, having you two lo lovely ladies, you two female uh, local Michelle Obama's right here <laughs> with us. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> it's going to be exciting because I want to... Uh, be more involved in this because I spent a lifetime in uh, helping our veterans. And one of my friends, uh, Mr. Willie Jackson uh, from uh, the VA Westwood, we get involved religiously when it comes to this because it's so hurtful just to know that there are veterans returning psychologically. Uh, they've been brain whipped and then they come back to the United States and get more whipped. You understand? Because everybody's turning a deaf ear to them. And then they have you all out here doing such a wonderful uh, piece, what you're doing now, because your program uh, on Normandy, right there in the hood near Manchester. You understand? Tell us about that. Well, my husband and I felt that uh, it was not really serving our community from a Christian perspective mm -hmm. to have a building that though it is an edifice to worship, mm -hmm. it's also a place, it's a roof. Okay. And so people could be underneath this roof. And so the people that are out there in need of housing that are coming, we have an early release prison program and no place for the parolees to go. Mm. So it's almost to me a sin to have a roof and not have anybody housed under there. So okay. we come in on Sunday and do hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, praise the Lord. And maybe coming on Wednesday for Bible study. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. And the rest of the day <laughs> and the night and throughout the week, it's an empty building with a roof. Mm. So people are on the street that could be under a roof. Or people are waiting inside a prison and they can't come out of the prison through this early release program because there's no place to house them. So the, all of these, what if all of the small churches in the city of L.A., in South Central L.A., were to open up those back rooms where they have extra chairs and desks they're not going to use? It's just a room. Put some beds in those rooms. Mm. Put some beds in those rooms. How somebody. How somebody. Yeah. These are our people. These are somebody's baby, somebody's child that needs to come out of prison, our prison system made it possible for them to come out early. Well, let's get them out mm. and put them in our churches. That's where it all began. Yeah, right. Our communities were built from our churches. Mm -hmm. We would house mm -hmm. people, safe we would yeah. teach the children, everything would happen in this building called the church. Well, let's go back to that and save our communities. Take over our communities. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. Hey, hallelujah. Give us some time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry about that. No, no. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. I got we're a passionate, passionate about Jesus right? and people. No, 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 no. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. When you look between Genesis and Revelation, mm. yes. one of the greatest ones of all that helped everybody, that's why I believe strongly in the 19th book of the Old Testament, in the 133rd numbers of the Psalms, behold, comma, how good and how pleasant it is mm -hmm. for brethren to dwell together yes. in unity. Mm -hmm. So if we're going to do these things and uh, make the world and clasp it with us in a society where veterans need to be and not look down on veterans. Mm. This is what you two are all about. Yes. And I'm grateful that you all felt sorry for me to stop by here today. <laughs> uh, I want to thank uh, the lovely Patricia Moore, uh, who's having some surgery uh, uh, problems there, but how be ever. 
I'm so honored that you all would come here and share this information because you believe it or not, after you're gone today, this program will be replayed over and over and over and over, Amen. which is good for Amen. the first lady here. So you got to be careful because <laughs> you and I, uh, oh my God. Okay. <laughs> and Miss uh, Richardson, I am just overly elated to know that you are spearheading such a program uh, because the VASH program, and let me just ask you about the VASH program, uh, because I, I didn't get into it with Fred before Fred passed, um, but he was very excited because he had been moving from place to place and place to place and place to place. Uh, does it depend on the landlord itself and the kind of apartment that they will give you? Well, housing's a choice. Okay. And when you have resources, the choice becomes easier to make. Mm. So the VASH voucher that subsidizes the rent for the veteran makes mm. it easier to mm. have a choice in housing. That's why we're reaching out to landlords. Fair market rents will be paid by the housing authority. Okay. So if you have a one bedroom or you may have a two bedroom, you'd be willing to accept the rents are somewhere between twelve and fifteen hundred dollars a month for one bedroom, but they're based on the comparables. That means the rents you get in the building are the general area. So we're not asking you to do the vets a favor mm -hmm. because you will be paid fair market rent, but just open your doors and open your minds and hearts to these veterans that need housing that may not have A plus credit. Okay. May not have any credit because right. many of them spent 20 plus years, I had one guy, 39 years in the military, left his mother's house, stayed in the military, extended well beyond the normal 20 years, got out and was like, what do I do now? Mm. I'm, I'm 59 years old. I've never had to run a place. Mm. I've lived in base housing. What do I do next? Sniper. Mm. Mm. Served our country well. Mm. So what do you do for him? I got him a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. Really? I got him a landlord that loves and appreciates what he's done for America. They go fishing together. Mm. He's exposed him to a world outside the military that welcomes him, loves him, <laughs> and he's feeling empowered. Hey, so man. it's not just a house. It's a healing process mm. and wow. a place to heal. Are you a preacher? Somewhere deep down inside. I just love <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You're listening and watching Prez Graham Worldwide, Prez Graham Radio, Prez Graham Gospel Time. Uh, Del Richardson is here and Candida Mobley Phillips is here. Uh, helping homeless veterans. This is such a remarkable, I don't want to sound redundant in saying this, but I'm just excited when I first heard about it. I, I was just blown out, you understand, that knowing that we have local Michelle Obamas out here, you understand, in the cut, in the grind, doing these things. So now, when we're looking for landlords, does it make a difference what area? My area is Los Angeles County. Okay. So anywhere in Los Angeles County, particularly around the VA in West LA is you know needed, South LA, Crenshaw area, uh, Palms, Venice, city or county of Los Angeles. Mm. So we are very much open to any available units. Please go on our website, register them for free, helphousevet.com call and get on our list for our next landlord outreach event and we'll show you what we do question veteran psychologically has been incarcerated came out of the war and needs a fresh start what do you do we team with the bash voucher team of social workers psychologists and case managers and we work through their problems and some of their issues prior to placing them in permanent fair market housing. Mm. Once they're placed into housing, they have that safety net of peer support counselors and case managers and social workers. Mm. So we work through those issues. We break down those barriers and provide them the safety net and services they need to be successful in housing. As we wrap this up, Mrs. First Lady, Phillips, your program and Dale's program are hand in hand, am I correct? It is, in that we're housing. Okay. We are housing. As I said before, Dale is my friend, and she pulled me out of retirement. I was having fun. The <laughs> just, Lord called her and just used me to give the message. Amen. Preacher. 
<laughs> and so I've just thrown my whole heart and my children. Yeah. I got my children involved in it, you know, because they're grandchildren. They're grandchildren. <laughs> and the husband. The, and, um, you know, the, the kids are good with the uh, uh, digital media, social media. So mm -hmm. I got them involved because I, I went to an event that uh, Adele put on. It was the first one that I had gone to. There was a young lady there. She must have been about 20. Yes. 23, 24. And she had done three tours, I believe, and, and mm. she brought One every, term in the military, three tours. Mm. Three tours. She had everybody in the room into tears because she said, I am a homeless veteran. Oh, my God. I'm homeless. I'm 20. She's 20-some years old. And she said, I am homeless. Wow. And I was like, oh, my God, that's my baby. My yes. children are that age. Mm. What do you mean you're homeless? And can't find a job. Uh, and that just at that point I'm like, what you need me to do? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm calling her. Where? When do I? What do I need to do? Because I, I had to help. Right. You have to help. You have to help. When you see our veterans, they try so hard. Mm -hmm. They're mission driven. Mm -hmm. Wow. Let's help our veterans. Mm -hmm. Let's help house the vets. So not only can you help, can you uh, also supply employment, or you have resources for employment? Yes, the VA has a lovely program, uh, but it, there are one worker to every 1,000 mm -hmm, veterans in need. Mm -hmm. We need help from the community. We benefit from the service they provide. We need to extend a helping hand. If you've got a job or a house, call us. We'll match you with mm -hmm. a veteran. Mm -hmm. Ladies, it has certainly been a rewarding experience. And would you like to share captions uh, as we wrap this up and conclude this broadcast as we're about to do and share in with the public, the world, on uh, w would you be willing to go out of state to uh, do this job? Yeah? If necessary. Really? Okay. Share with the closing remarks, please. Let's say it together. HelpHouseAVet.com. Please register your units. If you don't have available units now, register as a landlord so you're in our database so that you can get our information about outreach events. And please list vacancies as they become available. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you. Oh, that is so nice. But we're going to work on Candida. Please believe me. No <laughs> doubt about that. But we're going to work on her. Because Candida owes me, okay? Yeah, I'm not going to let the world, I want you to know, she owes me, okay? As we get, we want to thank our guests today, the lovely and talented Ms. Dale Richardson, and of course, Mrs. Candida Mobley uh, Phillips, and for you know helping veterans, homeless veterans especially. And of course, you can always reach me at here at RMC, and we will be glad to show information and love back to to them from Y-O-U. As we get into much more music as we wrap up this day, here's the lovely and talented, she'll be with us real soon. Here's the lovely and talented Elaine Gibbs getting ready for June the 12th with Lee Williams.
From Elaine Gibbs to the number one artist in the world, here's Lee Williams and the Spiritual QCs getting ready for us on June the 12th, Carson Community Center. You stay tuned. We'll keep you turned on. Prayers Graham Worldwide.
Camera Super Gospel Fest on Sunday, June the 12th, 5 p.m. at the Carson Community Center, 801 East Carson, featuring Lee Williams and the Spiritual QCs of Tupelo, Mississippi. You'll want to be there. You'll want to be there. And a guest will be Elaine Gibbs, Church Boys, Sweet Singing Cavaliers, and my son, Prez, too. Call Miss Betty Edwards at 323-602-4107. 323-602-4107. The MCs will be my daughter, Miss Nikki Blackman, and Reverend Gil Fears from KPFK. Tickets available also at Windsor Hill Christian Bookstore, Overhill in Slauson, Dimension Hair and Barbershop, Ontario, and Miss Donna Board over at Just Showing Off El Segundo in Avalon. 310-256-8155. 310-256-8155. Whatever you do, join us on Sunday, June the 12th with Lee Williams and the Spiritual QCs from Tupelo, Mississippi. It's a Prayers Ground presentation. Uh, that's going to do it for me. Time flies when you're being gospelized. Tonight, the big night for the doctoral staff and class of Bible Believers Christian College and Seminary tonight in uh, Hawthorne, Gardena area. And for all of you, Evangelist Evelyn Brown, of course, for Sherry and for Miss Windsor Hills, Naomi Webb, and for all of you out there, thank you so kindly. Join me Sunday morning on KALI. This is our fundraising month, and most of you, thank you so kindly for your contributions already. Dave Shirley, he started the $200 Club, and thank all of you for joining. Wendy went way above. And much love to you. I'm elated. Miss Joanne Griffith Williams, I personally love you, no doubt about it. I got to get out of here until Sunday morning. Yeah. 8 a.m., 8 to 9. On KALI, I want to thank Dale Richardson and, of course, Candida Mobley Phillips. Much love to you. Got to get out of here. America, world, always keep looking up. For my engineer, Kevin, from all of us, just remember the passion of your dad. There is a blessing on the other side of through. Heir to the throne, the heir parent takes us home. And of course, for Miss Dr. Rosalind Williams, thank you so kindly. Much love and blessings. Until then, America, I love you. Confident in this.